What's up traders? It's Nico, Inefficient Market with MIC. Uh, I want to do a trade recap for my trade today. Uh, my trade's on uh, NVCN. Uh, before we get into it, I am not licensed. I am not registered. Uh, this is not investment advice. Even if it sounds like investment advice, I'm just sharing with you what I did today. And it's strictly that. So uh, let's go. So uh, this morning, I actually woke up late, <laughs> really late. Um, I wasn't even in chat and I kind of rushed to the computer. I, I slept past my alarm, uh, which is fairly unusual for me. But um, anyways, that happened. And I get to the computer and I see uh, people talking about NVCN in, in chat. And I, I saw a couple things on Twitter and I thought, um, well, I only have a few minutes and I'll, I'll see what I can figure out. So uh, I did some light digging. Uh, well, first of all, I, I mean, NVCN, it's a, it's a known company to me. It's on my, my list of favorite companies if you know what i mean um you know any any one of these companies on this list if they if they end up gapping big or if they run on some some uh great you know credible reason i'm sure uh then i'm i'm, I'm highly interested in the short it's just a question of timing and when um and that was the, the case for today but regardless i went and looked up the catalyst i wanted to understand why it was up um i didn't remember that NVCM was dual dual listed on um, Toronto Stock Exchange, so I thought that was interesting. But uh, I saw in the PR or the news um, that they were granted breakthrough device designation from the FDA. Oh man, that sounds good. Um, so yeah, it sounds like good news, but you know you don't need to know um, a lot. I mean, geez, I've just I've, I've been familiar with the company. You know, if you pull up their stock chart and you go back uh, to last year, I think, you know, at some point in 2017, the stock price is like 200 bucks per share. For those that don't know, it never traded at 200 bucks per share. It's it's because they've done reverse splits because they've, you know, it's their share price has been driven into the ground so many times that they they reverse split and get it back up there. But uh, anyways, they fit. Let's just say they fit the profile. Also found some um, did some more light digging in the uh, the SEC filings and, and saw some uh, certain filings that were very interesting to me. So that helped me um, confirm my bias that I was ready to short this thing. So I got interest, interested to short it. I went to locate it. To my surprise, it was really cheap to locate. That was at first a red flag to me because I was like, why is this so inexpensive to locate? You know, I was looking at the pre-market action and I just thought that, uh, you know, just wasn't sure i was like well maybe this is gonna it had me it had me second guess for a second but um once i saw in pre-market that we we ramped up off vwap you know held this trend uh got up here and tested uh almost four and then uh pulled back to vwap and uh you know pushed up and then just smash you know let's get right up 50 cents to uh 450s uh, you know, high 450s, 460. And um, then we faded from there. I only got in, uh, you know, I only woke up right <laughs> around this action. So I was I was really late to the party. Um, but I I had my plan. I had my pre-market, you know, I was looking at pre-market highs here and I was telling myself, if this thing gets to 450s, I'm, I'm going to short this thing. And I'm not even going to think twice about it. But I'll tell you what, I know my risk is in mind. And if we stand up off the uh, the 450s level and we start to press on pre-market highs, I will start eating my loss and I will reassess. So that was my plan. Uh, I, I didn't want to risk uh, very much. I did use some healthy size on this thing and um, I executed. So I placed my orders before the open and um, I was there providing, you know, providing liqu liquidity and, and, and see what I could do. So um i i got in there and we got that morning push i mean what an amazing what an amazing push uh it didn't even last a minute um there may have been another chat room in there i'm not sh i'm not too clear on that i heard someone say that someone was um you know watching it for the open and whatnot it's it kind of looks like their skid mark could be it i'm not sure i i don't i don't have the uh the the info on that but um looks like it, it could have happened but regardless really happy with uh my cells here uh followed my plan and um i i played off this uh you know the 450s um and and that's where i got short that's where i, pl I placed my orders and i got i got filled really nice and i mean it didn't take long for it to slam back into this 420s range and once we did that uh i'm not even sure why i took some off here i i should have been thinking you know maybe we go to test these lows pretty quickly um but I, I did take some off. I've, you know, 
just to pay myself and uh, and and lock some in. But um, as you can see, man, this thing uh, tried to get back over view app, failed it, and uh, when it did that, and we were looking on these lows here, I I ended up adding some more, um, and I don't regret it. You know, I started covering once we tested. You'll see me do a lot of covers. I'm I'm piece mailing out these covers. Um, just because I'm not sure how, how low this thing is going to go. I, I have an idea. I mean, I, I, I've, I've got my, some targets in mind, but, um, you know, when you put on healthy size, there's, there's no, there's no shame. There's nothing wrong with, with, uh, taking some off and, 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 uh, you know, booking that profit. So that's, that was the big plan. And, um, I got some, some sweet covers there. Um, and yeah uh i mean that's basically what happened i got all out on this candle um really like sick trade really nice trade uh you know from 450 to 450s low 450s to uh you know i'm not even sure my average i added a little bit here but uh my, my average uh at cover i'm not too clear on but i mean yeah i did really well on that on that trade was that like a dollar almost or something more than a dollar on some of the covers less on on some of the other ones but i mean just fantastic fantastic trade man and uh then we got a bounce and i was like all right i'm just gonna i'm gonna see if we can play off this level here and i i was a bit early i jumped the gun a little bit but uh i i did get back in there um i've got eight minutes left before i've got a one-on-one -on -one, so i need to make sure i wrap this up uh which by the way i had another one-on-one -on -one, um earlier today um earlier in the in the day and uh it was really cool i got to meet this this great trader he's from lithuania um and it was really cool to hear his story and and what's what's going on with him and uh learn about him and talk about his trading and um that kind of stuff it was really great really really enjoyable so um i hope to do that again soon with uh in a few minutes with uh, a a new trader um but yeah, so I I uh, I got back in there. Um, I went I went half size on here between the two of them, um, and that 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 was good. And I started covering the dips. You know, I mean, another great trade. It's like a thirty cent uh, trade there. Uh, we bounce. I put some back on um, here in the forty uh, fives. Yeah, like forties and forty three forties and three forty fives. Uh, got a nice add in here. Um, that one, I went a little bigger than, than this one. So I went back to like three quarter size. Uh, I never went back to full size though. This was my full size trade here. Um, I mostly hit it here and I saved a little bit for an ad in case I was wrong. We did end up testing the pressing on those pre-market highs and stuff. Uh, that was the intention of this last ad was saved for that, but I just ended up putting it on here instead when, uh, you know, major ad to winner there. Um, but, uh, yeah, so lock some in, lock some in. This was a chase. Uh, I thought we were going higher here, and then we slammed down. I I chased. Um, didn't work too well. I mean, it did eventually, but um, that was fine. You know, covered out. Um, and then here I said, you know what? This looks like it wants to test VWAP, but I'm not sure it ever will. And I th think I was playing off. Yeah, um, this this three sixties kind of kind of press down, bounce up, slam through, press up, you know, struggle with it here, that, that kind of action. So I was, I was interested in the 360s. I got a little early on it, which is fine. Um, but I put a, I put a, a healthy chunk back on here. And I mean, just really here, I did not exercise. This is kind of like my CLDC trade of, uh, yesterday, not yesterday. Um, what day is today? CLDC trade of two days ago. I don't even know what day today is. Today is October 10th. Might be a, might be Wednesday. Um, and just, you know, on this stuff move, I really wanted to add and put on the last bit to go full size, but I just, God, I just didn't want, I didn't want to put that much risk on, you know, three quarters is a, is a definitely a great chunk and I just let it go, man. I just stay patient on this thing. Uh, three fifties, uh, three fifty mid three fifties average and covered the bulk of it around three sub three. I mean, another great, I just. Guys, I don't know, man. I just, like I, I said it in the last video I did, sometimes you feel like you're just in tune with it. Sometimes you don't. Um, I felt like I was in tune with it today, but I don't want to take all the credit. I mean, this was a really easy short, so to speak. I mean, this thing just spiked up out of the gate and just 
absolutely died like fade hard fade and um but i traded it well i rode the waves i i got in there and i i, I flexed my size where i wanted to and and uh, got to reuse it and um just some really nice trades man i just uh really nice trades and once i was done with uh the bulk of it i held small i held small i really wanted to put some back on on this 310s 320s push play off this 320s level i didn't end up doing that um I just I just kept it safe. I mean the yeah the day was just really nice day. So um, trying to figure out where my last cut, there we go. So um, there's my last. So I got short on the last one. Covered the bulk of it there. Held for this. I was hoping for seventies to cover some. Um, I just ran out of patience. I just I mean this time of day these type of days don't come around a lot. Yeah, I should probably have been more patient, but. I'm really happy with my patience on this trade, man. I really feel like I nailed the shit out of this thing. Excuse my French. I just feel like I just earned the right to to say that word on this video. So really nice. Um, you know, I've been here before where I miss trades like this. This is like the gimme trade and uh, missing out on this. It's painful. It hurts. If you miss out on this today, I know it sucks. I've done it a zillion times. Don't worry about it. Just, uh, you know, find the commonalities, you know, identify the, the, the qualities of the trade. Why was this, why was this such a big, why would have this been such a big trade for you? See, see, get in there, dig in there and, and find what you're looking for and uh, don't stress it because there, there's going to be plenty more to come. There's going to be plenty more. These companies, they, they're uh, serial uh, repeat offenders here. So, uh, you know, it's not the last time we're ever going to see a fade like this before. So don't, don't be too hard on yourself. And, um, yeah, that's about it. Um, other things I wanted to add. Uh, yeah, so um, basically a lot of easy meat on this trade. Um, and uh, shout out to Tosh, MIC. Um, Tosh did an amazing, amazing uh, teaser video from Boot Camp. That was so cool. I mean, what a skilled, what a skilled guy, you know. Uh, the guy's just, the guy continues to impress me. You know, he does his He's, he's got a solid trading going on and uh, then he comes and I'm like, what are you like a movie producer? Like, what is this stuff, man? Pretty amazing. Uh, I thought it was really cool. Really cool. So check that out if you haven't seen it already. And um, yeah, guys, I guess I got to run right now. I got like two minutes for my next uh, mentorship session. So cheers. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for the positive feedback on my last video, CLDC. Um, hopefully uh, this one gives you some insight. So some, you know, better idea of what I'm doing also. And uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.